Training School. Welcome to our Partnership Program Maintenance Matters video series. Today we'll be talking about ball returns and foul detectors. AMF strongly suggests that whenever you're working on the pin spotter that the power plug should be removed. This is for safety. In addition to removing the plug, it should be put into a lockout box and the box padlocked shut so that no one other than the mechanic who's working on the machine would be able to re-energize the pin spotter. AMF ball return units utilize underlaying track assemblies, lift mechanisms, ball storage trays, and a standard hand dryer. These units are designed for a long life and efficient operation. However, to maintain this efficiency, preventive maintenance is required. Maintenance of the C90 return would include the inspection of the drive belt. This is a double V belt. We'd be looking at the condition of the belt as well as the tension. We need to inspect the upper and lower rails for cleanliness and wear. And also the V pulleys would need to be cleaned and replaced as wear indicates. We see in the top V pulley there is a safety switch so that if someone would reach in or if when servicing we trip this switch, the unit would be inoperative. Also the adjustment and the condition of the transition brackets would need to be inspected. Should we need to get access to the lift motor, we can take a lower cover off where we find a removable section of flooring that would allow us access to the lift motor as well as the control box. One of the components of the underlying ball track assembly is the ball stop. This is located just in front of the ball return so that in the event of a ball return failure, a ball cannot roll back toward the pin spotter. This is one model of the sure pick ball return. Uh, this particular one is a mod 4208. As with all of the ball returns, it has its own control box. Generally, the ball returns are wired so that they come on with the pin spotter. It has a fuse to protect its internal mechanisms. It has a switch for normal operation. Uh, that means it will come on with the ball return. And also an auxiliary position for service or if for some reason it does not come on with the ball return. The small fuse on the end is for the hand dryer. One item of maintenance on the shore pick return would be the hand dryer, and that would include the cleaning of the veins in the blower, as well as the air duct tubes that take the air up. The particular motors used on this hand dryer also has oil cups that require lubrication to extend the life of the motor. The drive motor also has lubrication cups at each end of the rotor shaft. And as part of our visual inspection, we'd be looking at the drive belt as well as the lift belt itself. Visual inspection would include the ball guides as well as the leather belt. And as a point of maintenance, we should lubricate between the pressure plate and the leather belt with soap. The Spectrum ball return had the ability to pick up and deliver very slow moving balls. As a safety feature, there was a switch here so that when the cover was removed, the ball return would be turned off. This is located just in front of the control panel where we have our auxiliary and normal switch. Once again, an auxiliary position to allow us to service the ball return. Maintenance on the Spectrum ball return would include checking belt tracking. That would be corrected here at the very top pulley. Belt tension controlled by two springs, one on either side. The condition of the belt as well as the drive belt. And once again, lubrication cups on the drive motor. Here we are viewing a few of the components used in the maintenance work of the various ball returns that AMF has manufactured. This is a V pulley used in C80 and C90 returns. There are two of these. And the V pulleys are driven by a double V belt. So these would be maintenance items in those particular returns. In the sure pick returns, we have the, the leather belt and also the return belt itself. These would be two popular items in all of the models of sure picks. In addition, 
with the spectrum ball returns we have the very wide lift belt and the lift belt driven by this tire and wheel assembly that we find at the bottom of the spectrum. These are just a few of the items used in the maintenance work of the ball returns. A foul detector is used to guard the foul line at the bowler's end of the lane and should the bowler encoach about a quarter of an inch into that foul line the unit will signal foul and cause the pin spotter to go through a foul cycle. We also see a light came on here to indicate that a foul has been committed. This particular unit is an infrared unit. With all of the works on a circuit board internally, adjustments are very simple by repositioning these transmitter receiver units that operate with a reflector on the opposite side of the lane. This model foul detector uses incandescent lamps as the light source for guarding the foul line. The light sockets themselves are adjustable in order to get the proper beam so that the unit will foul at the proper time. All of the controlling mechanism is on a circuit board. Simply by loosening a screw and removing a bracket, the entire circuit board can be removed, making troubleshooting very simple. With this unit on the opposite side of the lane, there will be a photocell. This completes our overview of ball returns and foul detectors. For more detailed information, you're invited to attend our training program in Richmond, Virginia.